Okay, this is how you would connect your um, Evola Supremacy to a network. At the moment, I have it installed as a USB cable, um, USB printer. So I'm going to plug out my USB right now. As you can see, the printer goes offline. And I'm going to plug the printer into the network. So I've got a network cable. And um, I'm just plugging it into the back of the printer. So the printer has a power supply, it's switched on, and the printer has now been plugged into my little local network uh, connection, just a LAN cable going from the printer into the local network router. Um, this should make it available on the network for any computer on that network to print to that printer. So as you can see, it's loading a little bit right now. Um, what you want to do is you want to go to your... Um, devices and printers and what I just want to quickly do is remove this primacy from I just want to remove this device yes okay it's been removed let me refresh it's still gone and it's still gone so that's fine so what you want to do is you can see it's not in my print center anymore you want to go to tools and you want to select network and or Wi-Fi printer installation wizard. A little admin warning comes up, you click yes. And in this wizard, um, you want to go for a fixed IP or DHCP network installation. Um, and you want to click next. A static IP because you don't want the printer to change its IP address. There we go. It picks up the printer on the network. This would, if you, if your printer wasn't connected properly, it wouldn't be here. As you can see, here's your printer serial number, and you can see the IP address that your printer is at on your local network. One nine two one six eight is a local network, um, and that's where your printer is at. You want to select it. You want to go next, and you want to say continue, and the port name, the IP name. The printer name is Avola Supremacy, and let's just say here, Network. Next. Your printer has been successfully installed. You can see my printer is reacting to itself being connected. And there we go. So if I go to here, and I go to my devices and printers, you'll see that um, that I've got... Uh, I've got the Evolus Primacy network and it's connected. So if you've got the driver installed on a computer and a computer is in, uh, connected to the network and the printer is connected to the network, you can install the Primacy easily on that computer. And this way you can have 10 computers all connected to the same printer, which is very nice. You can double click in here and you can see, um, I just want to allow access. There we go, that's fine and I can go in and change the settings and do things to it um, and it's as simple as that there we go if you were on a network and the pr the server computer didn't have to actually print to the printer it's actually important for the server computer the computer that is hosting the server to have the driver installed in order to um, in order to make the printer work on the network uh, I've tried to install it I tried to install it once where there were just two random computers on a network and the printer was connected to the network as well and the one printer was able to connect to the printer for a while but then it stopped working and the reason was because the server computer didn't have the driver on it. So it's actually really important that your server computer has the driver, as well as every other computer that tries to connect to the printer has the driver, uh, which makes it very easy to just go to Tools, Network Connection, and then follow the instructions you've just seen to add the printer to the, to the computer. And that's it.